Hi, so today we're going to do this little sun lounge chair. And I am well aware that the wood for this is not in scale. The height, the width, and so forth, the little seat, um, that's all in scale. But I just, I liked the fact that you can actually make this work. You can adjust the seat so you can lounge, you know, back and whatnot. You can even take this and um, fold it up, you know, to put it away. You know, let's say you're a miniature house. So you're just shy on space. So anyway, I just liked that this works. It just charmed me. So, all right. So that being said, here's what you need. You need your tacky glue. You need a metal ruler because you're going to be working with your exacto whatever fabric you want for the seat some i used balsa wood i suggest that something to sand with mark with something to cut um some straight pins so i didn't show you some um what i'm talking about would be like these sewing pins that's what i'm going to use and this like big you know, this is a big wire cutter. This is, you know, these are needle nose pliers and they will cut through that, which is pretty thick. And then some scissors. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's see here. We're going to go ahead and it doesn't really matter where I start, honestly, but I'm going to go ahead and start with a little chair, the seat part. Okay, get this out of the way. Okay. I have done something already here that I had showed you in another video. And I talked about how you can pull at the little threads at the edge of a fabric that is prone already to uh, fraying. And I can use that to my advantage to have a nice straight edge. So when I do this, um, I can, in this case, cut a really nice, um, I've got to use this magnifier. Hopefully it's not in the way, but because I sight, and I'm going to cut along there as nicely as I can. You need basically, here's the deals you just start with, straight sides. Okay. All right. So that's, that's pretty good. Looks like I need... Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to trim this off a little bit as well, like so. And what I, I need to do at this point is I need to measure down 1.4 centimeters. Pull this this way. 1.1234 four centimeters. And go ahead and do this here. And I, this fabric is, I can cut with my X-Acto fairly well on this. It doesn't, it's not great. Though, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw a line and I'm gonna go ahead and trim that with my scissors. And uh, keep in mind, I can always fix this. I can make it straighter if needed. Um, okay. So that shows that pencil mark. So I'm gonna make this the back. That's uh, it's pretty good. Looks like there's a piece there. Let's trim that a little bit. Okay, now the uh, this if I'm gonna make this the wrong side because of the pencil marks. So that being said, I taught you about a um, fray hack. We're gonna use our glue, tacky glue, and just uh, finger on the wrong side just in case. We're dotting some glue along here and 
I'm making sure that this won't fray. I'm doing it on the wrong side, so I'm not particularly worried about how neat I'm doing this. This side too. This fabric is nice for using with this. Oh, see, it wasn't quite even. Wouldn't have done that. Okay. Go to the other side, see how I'm doing. All right, not bad. Okay, so the next thing that I can do is I can actually measure this fabric further. I can measure going this direction. And what I want here is, let's see here, uh, four centimeters wide. I can go ahead and use my scissors because this is quite narrow. Okay, so now I have this little guy ready to go um, when I need him. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my wood. So I'm going to get this. This is what I have. There's these um, little strips. And there, it's very difficult to say how wide this is. I think I measured and I was going for like two, two millimeters. It's Honestly, it's as thin is you can go because see this this is the wood that's out of scale and so I, I need to try to go thin but I also don't want it when I go to use my pin I don't want it to split so I, I'm going to try for two millimeters and I can Go ahead, cut uh, off of there. Let's see. It's a little warped. I can deal with the warping later. It's not the best cut. It's a little bit wider down here. I don't know if you can see that something that can be taken care of later. Okay, so now let's start to cut the little pieces. I took that off the board. All these little pieces. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to cut, you know, I need to be able to wrap this around something. So those Two of them, right? I can do one of two things. I can just go ahead and just cut this length and then cut it again and wrap it around something this thick. If you feel more confident than I do, then you could go ahead and cut this in half. You know, the, see, I don't, I don't know. See, that's real hard for me. Here, ultimately, you're going to thread your pin through there. You're going to pierce this all the way through. And I don't feel real confident with cutting that in half. So, that's on you. Depends on how talented you are. So, go back here. I want this to be about 1.2. I can do 1.3. Because it's the fabric, it's going to match the fabric with. Which is 1.4. I 
just don't want it. I don't really want it to show it. If I do here. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. What the heck is that all about? One point. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. I got nothing. Don't know how I did that. So I do want to kind of even these out. Make them nice. You will see that it is, with this project, more important that the pieces actually match than are precisely measured. Okay, so those are your little wraps. So I can go ahead and wrap these. Uh, because they're square, and that's kind of awkward, you can go ahead and sand off the edges a little bit. It'll slightly round this. Mm, I, I didn't take forever to turn this into the shape of a dowel or anything. I just went and took the edges off a little. It's not as square. Just, I mean, you can tell here I didn't, I didn't put a lot of time into it. Just a little bit. Okay. So, let's glue this on here. So, I'm going to take my tacky glue. Again, go ahead and put a little bit on there. That's all over my hands. Put this on there. Turn it over. Adjust if necessary. Looks like it really ought to go this way a little. Now I want to other side so that I can wrap this. Now, okay, glue on the edge, whatever I need. So I see that I have more than enough to wrap this around. Same idea. Make any adjustments. I don't want that to be warped. I don't want that warped. So same deal. Go here. And I can roll that up more, but the more I do that, the less I have for my little um, seat part. You know, the less that it's going to, to give when you go to sit down in the chair. If this were real, of course. Okay, okay, that'll dry very quickly, but we're just going to put that aside. I've gotten a little bit of something on there. I don't want to get it before it dries. Okay, so I have this laying out open because it's going to help a lot <laughs> for putting this together. When I first did it, oh my gosh, it was so hard because I couldn't visualize this. I had, like I said, I translated it from a full scale. Um, chair. It was on, it was in some store that was selling full scale dollhouse furniture. Okay, so let's cut some more. 
we want 3.5 centimeters and we want two of those. Um, these are, oh, is here and here. So, need two of those. Now we need to cut these guys. So I'm going to need four. And these are 2.2. .2. I am doing the best I can to get a 2.2. I can actually, I'm going to sand in a minute. See, this is a little thicker here and it has that silly UPC symbol on there. Um, so really, I don't want that. So I'm going to grab a different piece. I didn't notice that that was so flawed because I need two more of these. So um, let me just uh, grab this right up here. So now I have this back again. And this, remember, is where I was trying to cut maybe two millimeters. And there's going to be a UPC symbol on one of these ends, but I can avoid it. Okay. So, let's see something here. See how well I did. And I didn't. I did not do well. I think what I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing, and I could even use this as a guide, come to think of it. Just thought about. Is I need it to be very carefully the same width. At least a piece of this needs to be, because I don't have that much more to cut. I don't have very much more wood to cut. So, okay. Oh, not quite. That's unfortunate because this is balsa wood. It's gonna be difficult. Ah, brilliant. No problems. So I need to avoid that. Double check my work here. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Now I can go back to what I was doing. I was cutting 2.2s. All right, I need two more of these. Okay. I wonder how my X-Acto knives get blunt. No, that's a fib. I don't wonder. I know exactly why they do. Okay, so these are off a little bit. So I want to clean that up. I want to go with the shortest one and even these up. Because I was saying it's more important that these are even than they are precisely the, the right length. Okay, so now we, we want to kind of, um, you know, make this a little nicer. So we want to take our sand, sanding, whatever you want to use to sand with. And I'm going to kind of round these ends. Just take the edges off. Just 
do a nice round. And you notice I'm doing two at a time. And I'm going to take one of these over to the next one and use it as a pattern and so forth. So that they are as close to the same as possible. Okay, not bad. I can give the sides a little bit if it's if I didn't cut so well. Yeah, I need to clean that up again. And if I didn't do that great of a job, I can clean things up here at this point. Okay, so this one, make sure that this is nice. I'm not, I want to be very careful, like I said, to not take off significantly more than the other one. I may have to double check this. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but it will. Your chair won't sit flat. And it's really hard actually to get it to sit flat. And mine doesn't actually sit completely flat. I just didn't show that to you because it's hard. Okay, I want to take one of these, go to the next one and um, make that the same. Being careful not to cut the first one, sand into that more because then I'm going to start to get smaller and smaller. All right, probably should use the softer end. Okay, all right, so good. This one could use a little cleaning. This side, carefully, don't take too much of the length. I may have to check on that. I feel like I did. Uh, this one really needs. A little bit of help. Like this. Okay. Keep going. All right, so those are nice. Those are pretty good. Maybe not perfect here. I can always adjust. I want to double check these for evenness. Looks like I didn't mess up. Maybe slightly on this one. It's maybe slightly longer than the others. Okay. So, of course I want to do this here. And you've got your high-end lounge chair here. No, no scratchy edges for you. Make sure this is worth every penny you spent. Doing the same thing. I only have two, so this is faster. Okay, even that out. Check it out. See what we're doing here. Looks like we are a little off, or no? Oh, nice. Clean it up ever so slightly. I see that that's a little rough, not a big deal. So it's at this point where if you wanted to paint this chair or stain this chair, that you would probably wanna go ahead and do it. I'm not gonna do that. 
I just figure it's a natural. You could take uh, you could take some clear nail polish to this, or colored nail polish for that matter. If you don't have any acrylics, you could um, you know kind of water down acrylic and make it look like a stain. So that's when I would suggest doing it. Now, you are going to need three pins, something that's long enough to thread these through. So we're gonna actually put this together, assemble it, okay? So you see how that'll go. And then those two will go up here and these two here. So starting with this, I'm gonna lay it out. Okay, okay, now <laughs> here's a challenge. I want to, and if I try to mark it, it's going to show. What I want to try to do is I want to try to get this as close to the end and centered as possible. So, and see, it's actually cracking a little bit. Now that's not tragic. This will probably still hold together just fine. But then when I get to this, I want to try to have it in approximately the same place. This is where things get weird. And see today, it looks like I cut it slightly too thin because I think both of these cracked a little. Okay, see. All right, I'll make it look exactly like what we're doing. Just push it down. Give yourself some room. And I'm going, right? I need to go ahead and put this in here without hurting myself. I'm staying in the wood, too. Try to go straight across. Okay, that's my next step push it down then my next one is this one of course once again I've got to try to do this wow that's close <laughs> it is close wow not today Melissa Gonna crack. Okay, maybe not. I've got to try to see how well did I do. It's a little bit wonky, and that's kind of the way it goes with this project. Okay, last one. the front. All right, now let's see what we've got. All right. Now, so it's starting to look like this chair. So, um, the, uh, you know what? I was going this way. I'm sorry about that. I was going this way, not from the other way. And the way we know that is how far up the pin is so I was doing it that way okay now the same thing however I want the bottom of the chair to have a little slack so I'm going to actually need to measure up about let me remind myself yeah, about a centimeter. So I'm going to turn this sideways. I'm measuring about a centimeter. And I'm going to mark that at the 
best I can. I never promised you this wouldn't be fiddly. Probably could have marked this first, right? Yeah, didn't think of that. Take my pin and I'm going to mark it with a pin. And I can even take that through, hopefully, yeah, to really mark it. Okay. So, I'm going to do the same thing here. All right, similar to up here. I'm gonna start threading these on. So I need one of these to begin with. I need to do the same thing, which is get to the closest to the end without hopefully cracking it all the way through. Okay, this time I've measured up I'm going to go through that hole, put this, I'm going to thread the seat, being careful not to jab my finger, yeah, or go out the other side, oops. Straight. Doesn't wanna. <laughs> All right, I'm going at this the wrong way. Probably hacking all the wood out of this. Ah, there we go. Okay. Whew. Scooch it over just like before. Okay, you can kind of see. That's a nice, that's a little bit more than I had here. I like that. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, okay. Here's the other one. Now I can push it. And I've got my last piece. And one more time, try to get to the end the best I can. See what I can do here. Eh. I would prefer to see this a little bit straighter, but I'm, I'm gonna let that go. All right, um, because it's still gonna work. I just, I just don't wanna have to adjust it as much. See, it's very, very loose so that it can work. Um, you see some unevenness there, so. All right, but we still have one more pin. Okay, this one is scooched a little bit. We still have one more pin, and it's the same idea. Go as close to the end as possible without cracking the wood. Go straight through. Now, this time, we're not threading anything um, through the middle. We're doing the brace. Now it's possible to do all these holes first, which is probably a, a better idea than the way I did this, but 
tends to be what it is, is the more that I do these, then I come up with better ideas. Pushing these together, because I would like to get this fairly even. Let's see if I did. Hmm. No. I didn't. See, that's not level. The more that happens, the more I have to adjust. It's not the end of the world. All right, well, I'm afraid to adjust it right now, I mean. I'm afraid to work with the wood that way. Okay, so here's the deal. Take your wire cutter, cut as close as you can to the edge, but mostly it's important to get the point off. Because I'm gonna pull this through Okay, so I'm doing one side, cutting one side first. Okay, now I actually went too close. All right, pull this a little bit. Push this in, push this in, get it as nice as possible, but with as little as possible hanging out this end. Fell out. Hmm, which is not the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, definitely not the greatest thing in the world to have happen. So, let's wake up so we're going to get another pin. Oh, I go back to this little guy. Well, I think I... Yeah. It's really split now. So I'm not happy with it either. What I'm trying to do, you guys, is I'm trying to get this to go across nice and straight, but it's refusing. I think that that dream of having this go straight across is just not going to happen. Because I've split this wood. Not happy about that. We're going to move this down. And that's better. It's not really what I wanted to do but I'll show you a workaround. All right, so once again, take the point off. Uh, 
what I'm going to try to do this time is carefully pull this through without the whole way. Hold this, push this, make this even. And now, now I need to cut this part. And whatever sticks out is going to show. So I've got to get as close as possible. But there will be some extra. In order to keep that from slipping off, when I'm finished, I can actually put a little bit of glue to hold the outsides of these pins. All right, so I need to rinse and repeat here. I need to go here, cut the head of the pin off. I could go closer a little bit. Push that through carefully, don't hurt yourself. And I can even trim more here. I, I don't wanna to take too much more time to do that. Good. So, one last time, carefully, ever so carefully, this time around. Let's just see what we can do. Ugh. Remove that. Hmm. All right, see, that's really loose. It's not going to matter here if I do some adjustments. All right, so now you have your little chair, right? And what is going to happen is this part is going to go in the back, right? So that's the front. Hopefully you can see. That's the front, right? Okay. Then these are where you adjust the seat, but I don't have my little pieces of wood on there yet so that it would hold it up. So, you know, if I want to sit up, I can do that, right? But I need something that will keep it that way. So I'm going to make these little pieces. I didn't even measure these. They're just little tiny blocks. And those are going to keep this, this back from sliding all the way down. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten this out and see that split wood right there is not making me happy. Okay, get my little piece of wood here and cut off, make it somewhat even. It doesn't have to be that big. I can actually take this itsy bitsy thing and cut it in half. Maybe. I need such a tiny piece. I could almost use that piece there. I'm going to use this piece and then see if I can get a little one here. They're just, you don't need a lot. It's not going to cooperate unless it's about the same size. I can make it the same size. I'm lucky. Ah, there we go. Uh, likes it. I'm going to work with it. This is good. Okay, now. Jesus. I love using toothpick for applying glue. Just apply a little bit of glue on there. I'm going to take this and I'm going to stick it um, it can be right over 
the pin or above it. It's, I don't know how much you want this to go back, lean back. But he'd been right. So while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and look at this. I'm going to examine this. Not entirely pleased. You might be able to do a better job at this. So what I, I want to do, though, is I do want to go ahead. I, it doesn't matter if I use tacky glue or not, but what I can do is I can put a little glue around these joints on the outside. And it'll keep it from slipping off the end. And it'll dry clear, so it shouldn't matter. See, I split a little wood. This is my way of fixing the wood that I split. This is really bad here. Oh, man. It can really take care of that problem. Okay. This is another... Super split. This will dry clear on wood. Just put my little niblet there. I want my niblet to dry straight. There's another little split there. Maybe you have better wood than I do, access to better wood. This is what I have. So after making a few adjustments and gluing these joints so that the pins don't slide out, um, you've got a really cute sun chair that you can adjust, you can sit back and relax this way, you know, you can sit up, um, and then, you know, all of those cute little options that I showed you um, at the beginning of the video. So I hope you have fun with this, even though it's not a perfect, perfect scale. Um, and if so, please subscribe. Take care.